Hey everybody, welcome back to Queen Beans Collectibles. I'm sure you can tell right off the bat by my voice that I'm still not quite up to par yet, but I'm going to give it my dangdest. It's going to be a shorter toy thrift hunt than usual. I didn't get to go out as many days as I usually prefer to because my darn immune system is just kicking my behind. So these are the few stores that I went to. I think I went to a couple different Burlington's, a couple different Ross's. I went to a mall that is essentially shut down minus a couple of stores. That's where some of these items are from that are a lot older looking, like this Disney princess stuff. It was just such an interesting store in the middle of a mall. And I'm not kidding, there were maybe five stores actually still open at this mall and the rest were shut down. It was crazy. But this store was open and I had a very good time in there. Was it overpriced? Yes. Was it stuff you usually can't find in the US though? Also yes. So I did end up picking up a couple items here that I'll show you guys at the end. But just thought it was so strange to be in what is essentially an abandoned mall with like five stores that are packed to the brim with stuff. I don't know if it's maybe just because they don't get a lot of people in there. People must not realize it's not completely shut down. It's still open. Um, but seriously, the options were crazy good. They still had an FYE open. If you have one of those, they have a lot of cool stuff. They had a Too Cool open. That's the store that usually has a lot of Sanrio. If you have one of those, definitely check it out. And then the last one was just kind of like an odds and ends holiday store. I'm honestly not even sure if I remember the name of it. Um, but it was just really kind of a fun adventure. Um, especially when you're not feeling good and you're masked up. You don't want, you know, anyone near you. I don't want to give anyone my my lovely cold here. So it was kind of nice to be away from people. Uh, plus it gives me kind of a nice chance to take some good pictures and do some filming for you. And yeah, just it seemed like this was like going to be a Sanrio kind of day. Um, no matter which store I went into, I felt like it was just calling out to me. That and Pokemon. I was seeing a ton of Pokemon. Not sure why. Or maybe, again, it's just this location that's a little bit off. And they really encouraged me to add to my never-ending collection of blankets. I have a grotesque amount of blankets, and that's no lie. I'm not kidding. I have so many blankets. It is not necessary for any human being to have that many. Do I have them anyways? Yes. Do I keep buying more? Yes. I have no logic. No logic. But when you stick something on a blanket that I love, I cannot help myself. I must snuggle with it. I'm telling you, when they come out with a Rainbow High blanket that is easy access, uh, I'm, I'm going to be first in line. I want that blanket real bad. If that does exist already, besides on like AliExpress, please tell me, because I'll be purchasing that immediately. And not a comforter either. I don't want a comforter, I want a blanket. Because I don't have a small enough bed to put the comforter on. It only comes in twin size. And yes, I've already looked into it, so don't judge me. All right, I'll quit rambling now. We've made it to the savers. I did go to a couple different savers within this little adventure. Uh, definitely had some interesting stuff. There was actually some furniture in that not in our case, which I was pretty surprised about. Not a whole heck of a lot, or I think I would have jumped on it. And they had plenty of LOL, Lala Loopsies. I did see that Hannah Montana guitar, which I got a good kick out of. I don't know why I think that stuff is so funny. Maybe it's because it's from so long ago, but... I just think it's cool to see it in person. Not that most other people really probably even care about it. They had plenty of cool stuff in the bagged area, though. Plushies were a little slim. Not as much as they usually have, but I thought I'd show it to you guys anyways in case something catches your eye. And then I head over to the dolls, of course, which also weren't super stacked at this location. I always look just to be safe because you never know. But yeah, nothing too crazy at this one this time around. Just your typical Barbies. We had a JoJo. I think there might have even been some Disney dolls. But yeah, nothing that was really like piquing my interest. I think there were some boxy girls too. Just not my usual interests of like Na 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 or LOMG or Rainbow High. But still fun to look. I always have a good time. Especially since it's right after the holidays. Everybody's kind of purging their closets. So there's usually a pretty good selection, at least around this time of year. And they did have some pretty neat older stuff. I saw some older My Little Pony stuff. Some Littlest Pet Shop. Those houses always seem to be at Savers. I don't know why, but they always are there. I don't know if anybody else watched these when they were younger, these like Little Mermaid episodes. 
I loved them. I loved them so much. I thought they were fantastic. And a Lisa Frank birthday bag. That was so cool. If it had a cat on it or a dog, I, I would have been on it. I would have been on it. And honestly, that this lunchbox, this Shopkins lunchbox was also pretty tempting, but it was in rough shape. Now, you're probably wondering why I'm showing you a pirate cat. And it's because it's probably one of the most adorable things I've ever seen. It was a pirate cat painted on a piece of tile that was kind of set up like a picture frame. I, I didn't end up getting it because it was $7, but boy, was it intriguing. Maybe I'll go back and get it when I have a coupon. And you could see how that Nanada display was looking. Uh, I feel like I either see them completely full because they're in the middle of nowhere and no one thinks to look there in like a Walmart or a Target. Or they're somewhere so obvious that they are just getting torn apart. There is like no in between. But yeah, I made a stop at a couple of Walmarts and Targets as well. Obviously, like you guys, I have my eyes out for the new LOLs, for the new Shadow High, all that fun rigmarole. And we're, of course, seeing tons of Hasbro Disney dolls going on clearance, since we know the Mattel dolls are around the corner. Although I know some people are already getting them, that does not seem to be the case in the Midwest. We still seem to be very heavily in the Hasbro world. Tons of Disney stock in general as well. Not just Hasbro, but like everything under the sun. I even saw a new Chelsea doll. Maybe she's not super new, but it didn't look familiar to me. As well as these fun little color reveal Disney princesses. I wasn't going to pay that amount for them, but it was still cute to see them. Same with the Barbie cutie reveal for those Chel- I think they're Chelsea's. If I'm wrong, correct me. Uh, but I saw those as well. And then this was just kind of a fun end cap. It's just such a weird mixture of stuff, you know, like Rainbow High, Shadow High, all different series, Slumber Party. I just thought it was a really fun end cap and I was very distracted by it. And then I made it to a Burlington where I saw an American Girl and Little Miss Daria. This is, I think, the doll that I kept seeing when I was going there and recording that had a missing outfit. Somebody must have put two and two together and put her to back together and on the shelf. But I am not paying full price. No, ma'am. No. No, no, no. So I did leave her behind, especially because I already have her. Now that bag was beyond tempting. A brat's pony? A brat's pony. A brat's pony. A brat's pony. I should have bought it. I don't know why I didn't. No, yes, I do. Because I'm afraid if I start another collection, I'm not going to be able to stop. Ah, uh, it's too much fun. And I mean, the, the My Little Ponies at this location, ooh, bananas. There was even a hair adorable zebra in there. I mean, just tons of ponies, knockoffs, newer generations, older generations. I'm like, did somebody just have like a really eclectic collection of ponies that they've just decided to let go of? Because this is just such an interesting mixture to me. I mean, I'm here for it. I appreciate it nonetheless. But I just thought it was so very intriguing. And I liked that they mixed in a hair adorables animal in there too. That just <laughs> kind of made me laugh. It was very, very cute though. I don't know if anyone recognizes her. Her face makes me think a Disney fairy. Maybe, maybe even Winx. I know I'm wrong. Go ahead and correct me. Just go for it. I know I'm not right. And then we saw some dream seekers in a hair adorable. There were some LOLs at this location. This one definitely had a lot more to choose from. Some of them were in pretty rough shape, but it was still fun to look. And seriously, if anyone knows what that doll was, please tell me. She really looked like a Disney fairy, but I don't think I'm right. I'm really bad at telling dolls apart, especially when they're in plastic. I have a horrible time seeing them. So I, I struggle there. Feel free to call me out and uh, correct me there, folks. But I at least wanted to try to give you guys a little peek of what else they had here. It was a wee bit crowded at this particular Savers, so I'm just trying to be careful not to get anyone while I'm filming. But you can see there was an Equestria girl, there's some Disney dolls, uh, there's plenty of OMG. Um, I don't know who she was. She had really big feet. I didn't recognize her very well. I think there was even a Winter Stable doll in there. I, again, could be wrong. Could be totally wrong. Call me out if I am. But yeah, lots of really cutesy little dolls here. I really liked her. There was just something about her. And she looked like she was color reveal. And I'm usually not at all interested in color reveal dolls. 
but there was something about her and her hair. I just thought she was so pretty. I did end up skipping her. I've really been trying to behave, but it's still fun to go and look nonetheless. This Ariel was a little bit beat up too, but still cute. Apologies in advance for my nails looking like hot garbage. I just have not gotten around to doing them, but it's on the agenda, I promise. And then there's some plushies, just in case you guys wanted to see those. And another little section of plushies on the side. Not a ton in there. I do always check the puzzles. I don't know why I find them very amusing. I think they're cute. One of these days I'm going to find a puzzle for something I really like, like Neopets or something. And then I'm going to build it and glue it and save it forever as a poster. That's really my end goal with these puzzles. I want to make posters out of them. But I never find the ones I'm looking for. You know, I want brats. I want, you know, just really odds and ends stuff that I feel like you don't see as much. At least not in puzzle form or anything else. Not like you do with My Little Pony and Barbie and such. I don't know if anyone recognizes that tree playset either. It was very elaborate. I have no idea what it was. It was very cool looking though. Um, really nice quality. I have no idea what it goes to though. And I do always enjoy stopping by the books because it's like a walk down memory lane. I used to love those Barbie books when I was a kid. And you got to look at the DVDs too because somebody was clearly clearing out their Hannah Montana collection. And then I just wanted to quit, grab a quick screen share here with you at the old Target. Plenty of fun stuff to choose from. They had the new tweens. They had the new Mimi Owl plushes. I of course have not found the one I wanted yet because that would be too easy. But I'm still keeping my eyes out. And I did see most of the LOL OMG Sunshine Makeover dolls, who are also very, very beautiful. They are really stunning. I think they really stepped it up with that series. And then here's some more of the tweens. They were kind of in a different spot than Darcy, which is a little weird. But then I finally put the dots together that Olivia Flutter was supposed to be in between there too, but she must have sold out pretty dang fast. But I am seeing tons of the Series 2 mini suites for LOL. Those seem to be really popping up like crazy. I'm even seeing some more just the LOL dolls I haven't seen in a while hop back on the shelves. But the most exciting part of all is seeing all of these gorgeous Shadow High Series 2 dolls on the shelf. It was so exciting. I had already purchased Zoe and Glitch from Amazon. So I was pretty excited to have them. I then ended up falling in love with Carla. You've already seen that unboxing if you're a fan of the channel. Um, but she really grew on me when I met her or found her in person. So she ended up coming home with me. Very, very exciting. And I really do like all the stuff they have for Valentine's Day. I feel like it's a lot of really fun plushies and cute stuff. If you are near Target, you really should check out the clearance because it's crazy cheap. That mermaid's car was $19. $19. That's it. Crazy. And I'm finally starting to see some naturalistas on the shelves. I can never tell, are they just, you know, buying out that fast or are they just not stocking them? I am so very curious. And there's some of the newer P. Lush pets. Here are some new, like, Disney Dorables that are actually squishy. I'll be interested to see what those end up looking like. We've got some new toy mini brands. We've got the cutest Real Littles Micro Crafts. That was tempting. I had to control myself. I put it back, but boy, did I want it bad. And same with all these Shopkins. Ooh, they know that people like me still like them and will buy them. But I resisted because I had already picked up Carla and I had to behave. But what a fun little end cap full of new toys. And I got to see some of the Totally Hair Dolls in person. Pretty rare occasion. And then I do stop at a second Target where I got to see more of the dolls. I fell in love with Monique and decided to take her home as well. So my control didn't exactly work so hot. And I now have four of the six dolls. I wouldn't say no to Daya or Rex, but they didn't really catch my eye as much as the other four. So if I ever found them on sale, I'd probably pick them up. But for now, I am cutting myself off because I am out of control. Why did they have to release all six at once? That wasn't very nice. Now I need to purchase them all. And this was cool too, just to even see like the actual creepover display like that. Like seeing all the gals like next to each other I thought was pretty cool. Just hanging in such a cool way. 
And obviously, you know, a lot of stuff is still pretty empty, but it looks like they're getting back to restocking, so that's pretty exciting. And this Target also had more of the LOL OMG Sunshine Makeover dolls. Apologies for the lighting. Again, was trying to stay away from some people that were in the same aisle. And this time I got to see Sunrise, who I did not see previously. All of these dolls, in my opinion, are just really, really pretty. Um, I, I haven't really dived, dove, dived in, dived in, um, to the LOL OMG dolls. I'm trying to stay away, because once you start, you won't stop. But regardless, go check out your clearance at Target. If you're interested in Magic Mixies, those are on clearance too. No idea why, because I feel like those are pretty new. But I guess they're finally clearancing them out, or starting to clearance them out. And same with a lot of Barbie. If you were looking for some of the Barbie value packs, now is your time. They are all on clearance. At least in the locations I'm at, they were all there. But here's basically what I got. I... Basically, I wanted to show you guys the camper. I got that for Christmas. I'm going to be unboxing it. I know you guys have all already seen it, so you probably don't want a repeat video. But I thought it'd be cool to just let you know I even got it. And here is the Sanrio stuff I picked up from that Too Cool store. A really cute container and a cute keychain. Again, it was pretty pricey, so I didn't want to go too crazy. But that's the hunt for the week and what I got. So hopefully you enjoyed the ride with me. I appreciate you guys checking out the channel and sticking around with me. Feel free to like and subscribe, and I will see you guys on the next one.